I am going to tell about SAP PP interview questions and answers. Let's start. All the best. Questions number one explain what is SAP PP? So, SAP PP process is related to production planning of a company and it encompasses all activities like MRP, material requirement planning, BOM, bills of material, routing, capacity planning, etc., but mainly it contains two segments. Material planning, material requirements planning, long-term planning. Execution planning, creation of production order, workflow, conformations, technical completion and good movement. Questions number two mention what are the production process in SAP? So, there are three types of production process in SAP. Discrete manufacturing. Repetitive manufacturing. Production process industries. Questions number three list out the activities carried out in production planning. So, activities involved in production planning includes processing material master, creation of bill of material, displaying work center and routing, maintaining planning calendar, maintaining production lot, maintaining quota file, defining range of coverage profile and profile for safety time. Defining MRP views. Questions number four explain what is routing in SAP PP. So, routing in SAP PP is referred to a list of activities which are required to produce any material. For example, when you do cost estimation for the material, the system triggers the relevant routing and activity rates for all those described in routing, which will helpful to calculate the processing cost in product costing. Questions number 5. What are the steps of production execution process? So, production execution steps include converting planned order to production order, releasing the production order, goods issue for production order, confirmation of production order, goods receipt against production order. Questions number 6. What are the reports generated in product cost controlling information system? So, Product Cost Controlling Information System generates information for following areas. Product Cost Planning Cost Object Controlling with the Subcomponents Product Cost by Period Product Cost by Order Product Cost by Sales Order Costs for Intangible Goods and Services Actual Costing Slash Material Ledger Questions number 7 explain what is work center in SAP PP and what is the use of data in work centers. So, work centers are business objects in SAP PP that is used in task list operations, routings, maintenance task lists, inspection plans, and work orders. Data in work center is used for scheduling, formulas and operating time are entered so that the duration of an operation can be calculated. Costing, formulas are entered so that the costs of an operation can be calculated. Capacity planning, the available capacity and formulas for capacity requirements is entered. Simplifying operation maintenance, various default values can be included in the work center. Questions number 8. What is the use of MRPPP evaluations? So, this role contains a function for evaluating the MRP result. This function can be used to find information about the availability of material and to identify any material shortage situation. Questions number 9 mention what is the purpose of using capacity planning. So, capacity planning supports planning in all phases. Long-term rough cut planning. Medium-term planning. Short-term planning. It can be integrated with various SAP applications like SAP SD, PP, PPSOP, PPLTP, PPSFC, etc. Questions number 10 explain how can you create production order without routing and BOM? So, without BOM and routing, you can create a production order by changing the config in OPL8, order type dependent parameters, as routing optional. When we try to create an order using C001, it may ask for a sales order. Questions number 11 explain what happens to planned after it has been converted into production order. 
So, when planned order is converted to the production order, the planned order are offset by production order. The planned order reference can be seen in the production order. Questions number 12 mention what is the difference between stock transport order and stock transfer order? So, stock transfer order, it is referred to the transfer of stock for the usage in the same company. Stock transport order, it is referred to the change of title of stock in the name of the buyer. Questions number 13 explain what is PRT, Production Resource Tools, in SAP PP? So, PRT, Production Resource Tools, are movable operating objects used to perform repeated activities in plant or production maintenance, for example, documents such as drawings or programs for which document management functions are used. Various other PRT components include engineering drawings, jigs, fixtures, measurement instruments. Questions number 14 explain how to create PRT master records. So, to create PRT master records you have to follow the following steps. Choose logistics slash accounting dash project system dash basic data dash master data dash production resources and tools dash create. The initial screen for creating a PRT appears. Enter a number for the PRT and choose continue. The basic data screen appears. Maintain the basic data. Choose go to dash defaults and enter the default values. Save the PRT. Questions number 15 mention what is the T code for changing production order and to display production order. So, T code to change the production order equals C002. T code to display the production order equals C003. Questions number 16 explain what is PLM, product lifecycle management, in SAP PP, and what is the use. So, it is a collection of solutions with which you digitally create, maintain, and make product information available in the whole company and for the entire life cycle of the product. PLM provides you the function with which you do following things. The workplace is an open portal in the World Wide Web and allows you to access all application and information that you need to work with all external and internal business partners. It can link with other internet applications like program management, change and configuration management and engineering collaboration. Questions number 17 in SAP PP, what are the costing parameters? So, in SAP PP, the costing parameters are as below. Work center, activity types and the formulas, cost center. Routing, the time, activity types. Thanks for watching. We are here to boost your career. Thank you.